Hello everybody, Rob Taylor here from Team Taylor and Keller Williams Capital District. Welcome Schenectady County to another Market Monday report. Today is March 25th and this is for the week of the 15th through the 22nd. This is for single family homes only. Our source is the Eastern New York Regional Multiple Listing Service and this information is deemed accurate but not guaranteed. They gotta put it in for me to get it right. But the spring market is here. I think we're gonna have a beautiful week weather-wise. Uh, last week was a little crazy, but we had 42 sales or pending transactions in the week, which is up from the previous week of 36. So hopefully we continue to see that trend kind of edge up and we keep uh, getting as many sales as we can. The listings actually stayed almost exactly the same. We have 387 active listings now, and last week there were 386. So about as many coming on as went off last week, keeping that number pretty balanced. So I think we're gonna see that number increase, especially over the next coming weeks. So as we dive right into this, the good thing I see right off uh, is there are no zeros in any school district. So every school district had some sales. I mean, the lowest was three. So that is very good. Schenectady led the way with 14 uh, pending transactions. Miskayuna was second with nine. Scotia, Glenville, and Mahonison right there with eight. So very, very good um, this week. A lot of balance throughout Schenectady County. The best days on market was for Scotia, Glenville with only 37 days on market for those transactions that went pending. And Niska unit was second with only 41 days on market. So hopefully we'll see those numbers continue to creep down. And uh, that's always a good sign as new inventory comes on, if we can get it to move quickly. So as far as the average price point, no surprise here, Niska unit, 341 was the average price point, followed by Shalma at 261. So uh, definitely impressive again for uh, Niska Yuna to stay uh, atop there, but I will say Shalmont is doing very well with the 261. Well, we break down these categories for you for a reason, because we want you to be able to see kind of in each segment how it's performing in each one. And this was probably one of the closest weeks we've had where the top uh, category was 100 to 150,000 with 11. 150 to 200,000 was second with 10, two to 300,000 was third with nine. So literally two deals separated, whether they were first or third. And that's again, what we want to see balance spread over all the price ranges. We have so many houses and different price ranges. We want to make sure we see activity in as many of them as possible. So that is definitely encouraging to see. 400 plus, we have it as pink. It's not red, so it didn't have a zero, but Niska Yuna did have the highest sale of the week, over 400,000, so, but it was only one. So only one sale in the 400 plus, and you know we have a lot of listings there, so we definitely hope to see this pick up here in the coming weeks. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, one of the things that I definitely wanted to point out as we look back, so it's always good to kind of look forward look back and kind of see how if there's any trend so you see the same thing 150 the two, one to 150 150 to two two to three and then if we toggle back to this you kind of see that consistently so we're developing or we're noticing a sweet spot and so if you are someone that have a property that you're thinking about putting on the market you want to pay attention to these especially if your house is in one of these segments because you don't want to wait until you put it on at a time when those aren't the ones where the most buyers are coming so these have the most buyers every week that are actually putting pen to paper and so we want to make sure that we are paying attention to that and we can also see last week we saw that 400 plus had no sales so over the last two weeks there's been one sale again something you want to keep your eye on so I want everybody to have a great week and we'll see you back here next Monday for another market report. We're getting close to our months in, so we'll be doing the monthly report coming up soon as well. 
And if you know anybody that's thinking about listing a property, have them contact me. We have all the data, we have the experience, and we definitely have the team in place to make you feel like you're getting the best service possible. And that's why we do this. So until next week, have a great week. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.